Many public servants retire earning much more than military veterans who risk their lives serving their country. The main reason most people are not rich is because they are terrified of losing. Winners are not afraid of losing. But losers are. Walt Disney became very rich by making millions of people happy. And Henry Ford became very rich by making the automobile affordable for the working class. Most people never see the trap they are in. Successful as an investor or a business owner, you have to be emotionally neutral to winning and losing. Winning and losing are just part of the game. Teaching was one of the ways both rich dad and poor dad gave to others. But rich dad also gave money to his church, to charities, and to his foundation. He knew that to receive money, he also had to give it. I came to realize that while personal success is fulfilling it's much more fulfilling when you can help many others create their own success as well. Stop. A stop is simply a computer command that sells your stock automatically if the price begins to drop, helping to minimize your losses and maximize some gains. She also would spend time learning public relations, an important skill. Rich Dad gave me a way of looking at Chicken Little. Just do what Colonel Sanders did. At the age of 66, he lost his business and began to live on his social security check. It wasn't enough. He went around the country selling his recipe for fried chicken. He was turned down 1009 times before someone said yes. And he went on to become a multimillionaire at an age when most people are quitting. He was a brave and tenacious man, Rich Dad said of Harlan Sanders. So when you're in doubt and feeling a little afraid, just do what Colonel Sanders did to his little chicken. He fried it. Be careful what you learn because your mind is so powerful that you become what you put in your head. The road not taken two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler, long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth, then took the other, as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim. Because it was grassy and wanted wear though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same, and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. And that has made all the difference. Over. Land was wealth 300 years ago. So the person who owned the land owned the wealth. Later, wealth was in factories and production, and America rose to dominance. The industrialist owned the wealth. Today, wealth is in information. And the person who has the most timely information owns the wealth. The problem is that information flies around the world at the speed of light. The new wealth cannot be contained by boundaries and borders as land and factories were. The changes will be faster and more dramatic. There will be a dramatic increase in the number of new multimillionaires. Workers work hard enough to not be read, and owners pay just enough so that workers won't quit. One dad had a habit of saying, I can't afford it. The other dad forbade those words to be used. He insisted I ask, how can I afford it? So what is the lesson I learned from working for only 10 cents an hour? I asked. That you're cheap and exploit your workers. 
Rich Dad rocked back and laughed heartily. Finally he said, you'd best change your point of view. Stop blaming me and thinking I'm the problem. If you think I'm the problem, then you have to change me. If you realize that you're the problem, then you can change yourself, learn something, and grow wiser. Most people want everyone else in the world to change but themselves. Let me tell you, it's easier to change yourself than everyone else. This book is about leverage. He never understood that the more specialized you become, the more you are trapped and dependent on that specialty. High emotions tend to lower financial intelligence. Most people have a price. And they have a price because of human emotions named fear and greed. First, the fear of being without money motivates us to work hard, and then once we get that paycheck, greed, or desire starts us thinking about all the wonderful things money can buy. The pattern is then set. When people are lame, they love to blame. 